How's everyone doing today? Uh, here we are for another episode of Suds on Saturday. Before we begin, I'd like to congratulate the Boston Red Sox on another AL East Championship. So we will now see the Yankees and the Twins on Tuesday, October 3rd for the wild card. Uh, my phone will be off during that game, so do not try to contact me. If it's an emergency, too bad. Wait for the game to end. Um, so that's something I'm looking forward to. Anyway, today we have... Odell, Pyrus, and Prunus. It's a pear and peach sour aged in oak barrels. Uh, it's part of their 2017 seller series. Comes in at 9% uh, ABV. Not too bad. So it's an aged sour golden ale brewed with heavy additions of pear and peach puree resulting in a full-bodied, pleasantly effervescent, refresh, refresh, refreshingly tart ale. The two fruits work in harmony as aromas of peach pie and fresh pear swirl from the glass. The tart complexity of the sour, golden marries with ripe fruit flavors that burst forth with every sip. Enjoy. I'm sure I will. And why the hell? What the hell? Oh, that's awesome! So, on the actual label... Uh, you just, I'll see if you can, I'll try to. It says 6.5% ABV. They put a little sticker over it. Well, you can see that sticker. Let's, let's try to get this in frame here. I've never seen this before. This is like the cheapest thing. So they put a sticker over the label to make it 9%. I guess that's cheaper than reprinting... Uh, a whole label batch, but shit, this pro this was probably done manually. Imagine the guy, it probably wasn't Doug, but taking a sticker and going like this all day, I mean, I thought my job was bad, but holy crap. Anyway, um, let's just pour it, but that was so cool, I've never seen that before. Uh, crazy world we live in these days. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We got a, it's a nice uh, medium copper color. It's got a little pink orange hue to it. It's very nicely peach colored. Uh, it's dark for a golden, that's for sure. Hell yeah. Ooh, you know this is going to be good. This smells a lot like Crossover. Uh, they also made Crossover Sour Blonde. Oh, it's, it's a Blonde Sour, which is absolutely delicious. I don't think I did a video on it. Oh, but this smells just like it. A little bit of oak, great sourness to it. I don't smell the peach too much. It's more pear. A little bit of peach. Not bad. It smells really great. So let's give it a sip. Cheers. I love those sours, I thought. Hmm. It smells a lot more sour than it tastes. Still has a nice sour bite to it. Um, I'd say thin to medium bodied. It is fruity. taste a little peach pie. The peach puree definitely mellows out the sour of the beer. So it balances that nice fruity with the nice sour so it doesn't one doesn't overpower the other. So that works really well. Um, I'm not really getting any, I guess a little bit of the pear flavor. Oh yeah, the pear shines through. It's peach up front, pear in the back. Um, finishes sour. It's a, I mean, it's a great beer. Most of their sours are delicious. Um, I think I had one that I didn't really care for. Oh, I bottled everything. Oh, the Green Coyote, that wasn't all that good. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't have my bottles. Wow, 
the crossover sour. There was oh Brazel. Brazel wasn't all that great. I think this is delicious. Um, I would say it's semi-approachable for drinkers new to sours. Um, I, it's such a weird style. It's one of those love it or hate it. Um, there are some sours that are nice to be introduced to. And then there are some sours for us sour heads, like uh, Cascade Brewing. I really want to do a video on Sang Noir one of these days. Actually, I just want to drink a Sang Noir. I just don't feel like dropping $35 on a bottle, but Sang Noir is still to this day my favorite sour. Uh, Sang Rouge is my second. Uh, Cascade just, I mean, they, home run out of the park, out of the stadium, out of the state when it comes to sours. I mean, it's amazing. I'm dying to go back to Portland again. Except I always have to go to Colorado because I miss it too much. So one of these days I'll skip Colorado and head back to Portland. Uh, Portland's awesome. If you haven't been there, I would check it out. Just uh, it's a great beer scene, great food scene, a great coffee scene, uh, just just everything. So uh, this is a great beer. Uh, uh, worth the price? Maybe not. It was fifteen dollars. So that, that's tough to say, but I think so. I, I think it's a decent value. Not a great value, but decent to good. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. And uh, it's definitely, it lived up to my expectations. So it's a great sour. Odell keeps uh, brewing some good stuff. Uh, what, 10 Paces is coming out. That's my next one. And then the uh, Whiskey Barrel Aged Blue Jean that I actually saw at the brewery, which was awesome. I got, oh God, that was so cool. So many barrels of Odell. That, was, that made me so happy. So, Odell. Anyway, so yeah, this is it. I got nothing to say about this. I'm enjoying it and I'm gonna enjoy the rest. So here's to feeling good all the time.